Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrig and today from 49 and Market, I've got a fantastic color swatch collection from that series. This is the Toast Collection. It's got laser cut elements, six by eight mini collection paper pack. It's also got rub-ons and we've got a collage set and also acetate leaves in these beautiful sepia brown cream colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. Together, they make really pretty cards like this one. I can't wait to show you what else we came up with, so come back and play with us. So I thought first we would start with the 6x8 mini collection pack and take a look at what's in this. Beautiful collaged papers front and back, and just beautiful floral designs with, of course, butterflies. There's some printed text on here, and there's like drawing and a watercolor look. You get multiple of each one. Let's see if I can try to skip these. There we go. And I love this. It's like a little Battenberg lace situation. And then I love this wreath. And then this look at the flowers along the bottom edge. And these are just really meant to be just really heavily cut apart because there are so many elements that you'll want to use to make your cards and your paper crafts and your collaging. Gorgeous. And then we've got this one. This is the sort of collage paper. It's thinner paper. Okay. This is, if this is like a cardstock weight, this is half of that. It's like, it's almost like a photocopy weight or maybe even less than that. It's not like a tissue paper weight, but beautiful. We've got our botanicals. And we've got lots of maps in this one, which is so great, and documents and book pages. Love it. It's kind of ledger sheet here. Drawings and lots of bugs. And really nice old book pages. And they're cool seashells, more map, and then text here, that cover. All right, we're going to use both of these together to show you kind of their different purposes. And then we've got the laser cut elements, which I've said this many times before, I think 49 and Market does laser cut so, so well. Um, so these are cutouts, these are not laser cuts, but they just even use the cover portion and give you things to cut out, which is fantastic, wasting nothing. Here is the first sheet, beautiful, love it. It's got all these browns and sepias and tans. I mean, this right here with these borders are really the colors here. I just love that whole collection. And then I'm gonna flip over to here. We've got all of these, I use these a lot. These are just like bows and ribbons and little twine ties and buttons and things that you can add, fantastic. And then here, these are nice sort of like pieces that I like to use for sort of grounding things. So I would maybe cover my card with paper and then put one of these down and then build on top of that. And it sort of prevents your flowers and things from looking like they're just floating on the card. So wonderful, wonderful layers and things that they include. We're going to definitely use those. And we've got our beautiful little rub-on transfers. I love a good rub-on and they do a great job. So we've got, these are also six by eight and you're getting six sheets of these. Beautiful flowers and the leaves. I love this with the splatters and then the text behind the splatter that just adds so much layering and depth when you're adding these to your paper. Lots of borders. And then these are great if you're doing like a photo album. They're really kind of geared towards using these with photos. This is photographs, the detail, best time ever, things like that. Really great little captions. And then just the back cover. Right, so let's take a look at this card. Whoops, there we go. This card, this is a five by six and a half inch card and I covered it using that paper I was showing you where the flowers were on along the edge. I love that. So they're sort of extending in on this side. Take a little strip about one and a quarter inch wide 
here of this great little pattern. I love to ink all of the edges here with my favorite brown. This is Friar Brown ink. We're not using it for its water reactive properties. We're just using that lovely color. And of course I like to apply it with this. And uh, it just really works nicely all around the edges of the card. And then once I did the covering my um, card front here, then I did my strip. Then I put another strip left over from another card, inked the edges there, put that across. This is one of these laser cut, just like twine pieces that's kind of knotted, and I just glued that across, and then just trimmed the edges right there. I've got my happy birthday. This is from More Greetings Dazzle Stickers, and it comes in a pack with different finishes here. And I used the black one on here, this one right there, just a nice, Thin, scripty, scrolly, and uh, that looks really nice there. And then added one of these cute little laser cut, it's almost like a little folder, um, little tab. And I added that with the With Love, and these are tiny words and phrases, Dazzle stickers. And um, just added that right there, just as another element. And then we've got right here our fantastic acetate leaves and butterflies. So I wanted to show you these. They are amazing. You get so many, there's 70 pieces and they come in all different sizes. Some are quite large. And then as you get down to the bottom of the pack, you'll notice there's some are quite small. And of course there's tons of butterflies and moths and things like that in here. There we go. Lots of these. And you get multiples of each shape. Like that. Multi, I think there's at least, yeah, two of each. So you're getting 35 different images, two of each, and they're all listed right here on the back. And this is really nice to use because when you're looking for a particular thing, this can be kind of overwhelming, but selecting one like this is, makes it much easier for me. And added those butterflies. So this is a butterfly that was included on the strip of paper. One, two, three, four uh, are acetate ones. So there we go, there's our first card. The next one I wanna show you guys is a little book I made, you guys, and this is from, the cover of this is made from our coin envelopes. And this is um, Sarah Surface's coin envelopes. You get two right in here. And they're already, of course, die cut and folded, but then you do need to add a little bit of glue to secure everything, or you could use extra sticky tape whichever one you would like. So what I ended up doing is taking mine and using them like this, okay? And then punching some holes in them before, because this is quite thick. And if you don't have like a really um, industrial strength um, hole punch and you're just using a hand one, then go ahead and open this up and then you'll have less layers and then fold it and then punch it through those holes again. That's what I did and I was able to get my holes just fine. But if you're trying to punch through one, two, three layers of this, it's gonna be tricky. So just do those individually in layers and align your holes and you'll be fine. And I covered each one of these with using that collage paper because it's much more lightweight and sort of malleable and easy to fold and get around these edges than the thicker cardstock was. That thicker cardstock is best used for covering a card, and this worked really well for covering something like this. So yeah, I used um, the maps on the edges here, on the flaps here and here, and then I just used um, a couple of different pieces of the text print to cover them. And then once I got them covered, I inked all the edges. So let me take these off. Okay, so there's my flap. And then on the inside, there's some tags. And I used Hunky Dory tags with this, but we are sold out of those. So if you have some of these shaped Hunky Dory tags, they work great. But also the tag that comes with our tag in a bag cutting die, I used on another project here I'll show you, and it works great too. So there you go. And so yeah, I used scraps of of the paper on this one. I also used the rub-ons here for those little splatters. And I use those laser cut buttons here. And then of course you can do that on the other side and make that double-sided. 
That gets tucked right back in here. You can write little messages and little notes. You can put gift cards in there. Um, I also added, here's some laser cut here to decorate the inside. And then these little five millimeter crystal stickers are self-adhesive and they are the little borders. Where did I put my little thing? Anyway, here we are. That's what I used right here. That's just a little border. This is just a strip of the um, six by eight paper pack cardstock. And what I did was I just cut it into a little half inch wide strip. And then I just wrapped it around just like this. And then I glued the ends, made sure the ends were at the top, overlapped them, and then I covered that little overlapping with one of those little laser cut pieces. So here we've got another little laser cut piece with that half doily. And then we've got one of those acetate leaves. Here's a laser cut flower. And then I added some more of those crystals, the laser cut butterfly. And then we've got two tags right here. And for these, once again, a little bit of map, a little bit of inking. You gotta use those little buttons on each side. Here's a little rub on. And then you guys, these are really great for just adding photos to, just like that. And then I've got another one, and you could add that right there. You could also put them in the pockets. So you could add, I only did two pages, you could do multiple pages. And the little rings that I used, these are available just on any, at any office supply store, and I just used the one inch size ring. And then on the back cover, I just ended up doing the exact same thing. Okay, but I didn't need to embellish the back at all. We're going to just pull that right off, open that up, and there you go. There's the tags. This was really fun to make, and then um, very fun to just embellish and decorate. Had a great time. I used some ribbon from our brown ribbon set, and for this, I just took lengths of this, um, started off with about three inch length, and then just knotted it, so it's like a, a full knot tie it once, tie it again, so they don't un come unraveled. And then I just trimmed those tails to like one and a quarter, one inch to one and a quarter inch long. Make sure you cut them at an angle like this so they don't get all frayed at the end. And yeah, super fun project, starting off with a couple of tags and some of these little coin envelopes. All right, let's see what else we've got for you. Oh yes, go. Yep. This is a six by six card that I've kind of started, it's in progress. So six by six card used that great paper that had the wreath on it. This is from the six by six cardstock collection. And then I added some rub-ons right here with these leaves. There's also th some thank you dazzle stickers, which I forgot to grab, but I'll list those down below the video. And those I went, to add, I went ahead and added on so I wouldn't have to worry about that later. So then I took some of these laser cut flowers and we've got this cute little ribbon and I could go ahead and add my laser cut flowers just like this, but then it's really covering up those leaves and so I'm gonna alter it a little bit. We can cut these apart. So I'm gonna take my little scissors, I'm gonna cut that off and I'm gonna place them where I want them here. We're going to put those right like that. And then I've got this adorable little bow. That's really cute. Or I could just put it right there. And I could move these around. Yeah, I like that. And I'm going to glue those down using a little Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. Or you could add a little foam tape. Maybe we'll do that. So we've got our giant wheel of foam tape which is such a great value, you guys. It is 150 feet of foam tape, or 50 yards. And these things just, Debbie and I go through the foam tape like crazy, and a roll, these rolls last us a really long time. Okay, I'm gonna put these right here. Just like this. I might have cut that one a little big. I think we're okay. And then you know what? Don't throw this part away, the little stems, because we're not going to use it on this card, but you can absolutely use it on another card. 
always find room for those little botanical scrappies. And then we've got our beautiful butterflies for rub-ons. So for these, we can just go ahead and cut one of these out. I say this every time, you guys, don't try to just take a rub-on and do this and lay it down and be like, I'm just gonna rub this one part on. Because any pressure at all, just even the weight of just laying it down can make parts of the other butterflies stick on there. So just take a moment and just roughly cut around what you want, including the backing sheet. That's really important. I learned from my mistake, basically. Um, and then we're gonna put, put that right here. And then we're just gonna rub these on. And these are such a nice quality rub on. All right, and then you're just gonna, oops, grab those. And it just lets go and releases so nicely. Right there. And that one is good to go. Of course, this six by six size comes with envelopes and it's all set to go. And we have one last card to show you. All right, see if I can get everything off here. Okay, so this is a five by six and a half inch card. And I've covered, here we go. I just cut my little paper down from the cardstock pack down to a little bit smaller. You don't even have to go all the way to the center. So I figure I've got two thirds of it right up here. And um, we're gonna do a little inking of the edges. I've also taken a scrap of paper here and just glued that on three sides so I have a little pocket, just like that. Then added one of the laser cut borders across here. There is a little rub-on border right at the top that I've placed on there. Let's go ahead and add just a little color to the edges. You don't even need to go all the way around, just hit those corners especially. Bottom edge. And I think that just really adds another layer of, of shadow, of depth there. All right, and then we've got right here, this is one of the laser cut pieces. Glued that there, made a sure it was flush with the right edge so it just looks like it's extending off. And then added one of those more greeting dazzle stickers. And then of course we've got our little pocket here. So I've taken this tag and this is from our um, tag in a bag, right? And that's a cutting die. And I'll list that down below. So then I also just took some of this collaging paper and I just cut out a little chunk of that. Cut that down to the size I wanted and inked the edges. So that's gonna be kind of our starting point right there. And then I've got a little bow there. So we're making a little tag to go right in there. And I've cut out some more of these rub-ons. We're gonna go ahead and just do a little bit more layering here. I think right here. And then I left a couple of little pieces on here and we're just gonna go ahead and put those right up here. There we go. And then we've got these sweet little flower right here. We've got one over here from our paper. Let's just add another one here. And then we've got the laser cut one here. That'll just kind of give us, one's printed, one's rubbed on, and then one's laser. Just kind of give us different depths. And I love that you can take multiple rub-ons and put them one on top of the other. So here I'm kind of overlapping this rub-on that's down here and there's just no problem with that. I noticed Sarah did this um, a couple of weeks ago with her rub-ons I thought was so clever. When she put it down, she took that corner and she just folded it like that. You can see that in there. And it's standing up and that's making a little handle so you don't have to scrap at it like I usually do. There we go. A couple of other little pieces right here that I want to get that are kind of like the splatters. 
Don't want to waste those. Those are really cute. All right, and so now we've got this piece to add right here. And then, you know, we had this little foliage that we cut off of the other one. We can absolutely use that. I'm not going to waste anything. Oh, great. My glue dried up again. I promise you guys, this glue does not dry up unless you just stop using it for a really long time <laughs> without anything in the little cap thing in there. All right. Gonna put that right there. Got our little leaves and things. Rather, our little stems. Let's put that right over that. And then we've got some little laser leaves here. I tuck that in there. So cute. And we've got some butterflies here. Put right those right there. We're just going to do the one. Right there, like it's landing, coming in for landing on that flower. All right, so this can just go right in there. Make sure normally that their glue is dry before you put your tag in. And then we've got this one right here. We can actually just use, I think that one would be so cute to put right in there. And then we've got this last little butterfly that we can just add right here. Won't use that, but. So yeah, that is ready to go. How cute. And you could also just stick a little, you know, write a little message here. And um, you could add a little gift certificate or a little card in there or some cash. And I think this would make a really cute card for graduation, a wedding that you've got coming up. Very easy to put together and have fun with. All right, so you guys, we've got a great collection here. Everything you see, you can find down below the video. Here we go. And um, all the items listed down below the video, you can see those. But if you're interested in making one of these projects in particular, then go ahead and click on that particular project and it'll show you everything that was in it and you can add those directly to your cart. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, just look below the video in the description box and you'll see a link to this Paper Wishes webisode page and you'll find the great money saver we have, which is right over there on the right hand side and all the other items listed. And hey, while you're there, a thumbs up really helps people find our channel. And subscribe, we do like five videos a week and we wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining me today, you guys, and I'll see you next time.